Welcome back to our second session of uh, Discovering Dataflex with Johan Brodfeld and Front IT. We uh, created this uh, workspace and uh, our first application in the uh, first video. And now we are going to create a table and a view. So let's begin with creating a table. And uh, since this is a um, kind of project order based application, we uh, start by creating a product table. And we want an ID. And that should be numeric. And then we want a product number. And we set that to ASCII because a product number can also contain letters. And a product name. And you can select what size you want. If you have very long names, you might increase that size. Uh, we may also have an EAN call code and uh, I think 20 will be enough there and you can basically enter what what you like here color size height width and uh, so on but for this example I think this is enough and now we want to add an index and we add an index on the ID because that's the primary key and then we want an index on the uh, number because we want to be able to look up on number and uh, we add the ID here to tell the database that this is not a primary key so you can have uh, multiple products with the same number and uh, we also add a new index for the name and we add the ID and we add another index for the EN code. EN code and ID. Uh, we could also use the RECNUM, but um, it's not really advised uh, to work with the RECNUM in the system, so I use the ID. It doesn't matter in the index actually. And now we have our database set up. Let's save the database. And now we want to create a view. So we go in here, create view. And we use the view wizard to create a product view. And they want an O in front of, so that's okay. And this is a simple web form. You can also create a header detail. This is on the product. And we want all the fields. And you could also add tabs here if you want to uh, use tabs in your view. And here we can change the uh, names. We want. might want some capital letters in the start. Uh, That. And you can put some, you can see here you have it all in, this, in a sweet line, but you might want to put the uh, name and the, um, num and the number on the same line and, and let's see. Yeah, now you've got the number and the ID on the same line, for example. But let's have it as it is and click next and finish and here we have our uh, view you can see the product id number name so on yen and here you have the preview so you can see how it looks and you can actually click here to get to the right place in the code and uh, now let's save and run this application and 
and we should have a view for the product here yes and now we can enter an ID we can enter a number a name and then the end code and just click save yes let's save this record and then we have another product and a name and another EN code no. see there you go now we can actually find these two by clicking these buttons and we can uh, if I write two for example and click equal it will find the second product and uh, that's all there is to it now we have a view to uh, work with data in the application so enjoy and bye for now in the next video we will take a look at some extra features in the view and how to uh, do an auto increment in the ID field here because we might not want to to have the ID and type it manually because it's actually more uh, data related. See you later.